Invasion of Astro Monster is about aliens and about Glenn and Fuji, our main characters, who are going out to space, traveling to see what's happening from a message that they've received on the planet. And once they get there, they find out there's alien life up there. They find out one monster, Ghidorah, is up there attacking these aliens, or so it seems. Once the story continues, we find out that they want help. They want to have Godzilla and Rodan come up and help them get rid of Ghidorah. Okay, fair enough. At the same time, there's a curiosity for the main characters. Glenn and Fuji aren't sure about the aliens because they're very secretive about everything. And it made me recognize in that alone that when you when a country goes out to another country and tries to dominate them, tries to help them out, tries to clear things up. In reality, there might be something else on the agenda. There might be something else that is going to be coming up. Then looking ahead at the story, actually the aliens already came to Earth. They're already in the water with their ships they come up and they already know where Godzilla and Rodan are and they don't provide it in a way where they're doing it out of being respectful. They're not being respectful. And at the same time, obviously, the people going there, Glenn and Fuji, weren't respectful either. But at the end of that, this means that all these actions would have taken place already. Glenn and Fuji didn't put this in action. Literally, the aliens were already down here. And so... From that, looking at this storyline, pretty much now, the aliens have control of all three monsters at this point. They made it seem like Ghidorah was attacking them only, but it wasn't. It was literally pushed to make it look like a certain thing. And I think that's plausible deniability. That's a part of making something seem like we need help, we're in danger. So it's like crying wolf, but you actually put a whole play together to make it more authentic. So Invasion of Astro Monster really showed that. So that people will run back to help. But in reality, it isn't about help. It's about having control over them and making sure because the aliens do offer a cure for all diseases, but it ends up being an ultimatum. They'll survive if they have the aliens in control of them, of their world, of their Earth. And I think really what hit me in that is how when countries go into other countries in general, there's always a double-sidedness to it. There's always some other agenda to it. It's not just, I just want to help people. No, you have an agenda. If you're stepping into another conflict... If you're stepping into another space to herald your value there, you're, there's a literal sense of empowerment to be in power over other people. It's not an empowerment for yourself. You don't gain anything by going to others and saying, I have power. You literally only gain power over them. And that's what happened in this situation. Eventually, it worked out okay. But... There's a recognition for me in that of how our countries work, how our world works. And it really hit me because watching this made me feel like, oh shit, no wonder we have a hard time getting along with the world. You can't get along with the world if you have another agenda in mind for what you're doing. And capitalism and whatever system you have in place will always trump the identity to just want to help because you have the capability to. Or if you do need help, or if you want to fake needing help. There's so many different ways of arranging that that's just sickening, actually. And so Invasion of Astro Monster showed me that.